Good evening and welcome to another episode of What's on the Market. Um, today we're going to be looking at the Armies of Great Britain uh, army book uh, from Warlord Games and uh, in the Bolt Action series. But before we do, I'm just going to very quickly clear something up here. You might be looking at your screen a little bit odd right now, thinking, why is he wearing a bow tie? Well, uh, the reason why I'm wearing a bow tie is very simple. After I released the last episode um, on the, uh, the Bolt Action Rulebook, uh, one lovely gentleman by the name of Jim O'Neill, and, and this is your shout out by the way, suggested that perhaps I might do a better job wearing a bow tie. Now I presumed that he didn't mean just a bow tie, uh, and for uh, the viewer's safety, and obviously I haven't got a loyal following yet, which I, when, which means I shouldn't be scaring people off, I thought I would add more than just the bow tie, um, and of course YouTube probably would have banned it anyway. Um, so anyway, without further ado, in a bow tie, here is uh, my review of uh, the Armies of Great Britain. Let's take a look. Okay then guys, so uh, we've got it, the book here. Uh, I'm just going to very quickly uh, go through and review this for you. Now the first thing I notice when I look on the contents page uh, within uh, sort of seconds of opening it is the amount of equipment uh, that is on offer, uh, particularly in the tank section. So any of you out there who are particularly into your tanks, this book covers it. Um, and in case you've stumbled, stumbled uh, into a WH Smith, perhaps having had a few too many to drink, uh, and you pick this up by accident and you're not sure what you're reading, there is even a section, what is this book, uh, within the first few pages, just in case you weren't sure what you were picking up. But if you were, then you'll know uh, that this book uh, covers uh, the British forces and the Commonwealth forces from World War II. Um, it's got a nice little history to start off with, covering uh, in, in small detail, um, the the different uh, theatres uh, and the timeline um, and then jumps very quickly in to the army lists uh, and one of the things I really like ab uh, about this book like a lot of the books is that they come with these small little boxes uh, with information in um, kind of give you a bit of flavour about the army give you some characters to you know think about um, maybe even to add into your army um, so this one's a VC winner uh, others perhaps are more about the 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 area that they were fighting in or the, the situation or just lots of nice little bits of detail to add to the flavor. So jumping into the army list, we, we have the, the, the standard, um, some national characteristics. We have your infantry, your artillery, your vehicles. One of the nice things I like about this, um, and I believe it's the same with the others, is that uh, when you're looking at infantry, it gives you lists for the early war and then for the mid and late war as well. So you can know uh, if you, like me, are looking specifically at early war Brits with the BEF in, in France, uh, you, you can have an idea what your force should look like. Okay, and it's absolutely brilliant. Um, and one of the really nice things also in this book uh, is that when you get to the armoured section, it even has a specific section dedicated to those uh, US vehicles in in uh, British service uh, through the Lend-Lease program. So this has a very uh, comprehensive list um, and uh, really a, a must for any um, British or Commonwealth players. Um, the nice thing about this also, um, as all the army books have, um, it has a theatre selector section. Um, again, lovely p uh, work by um, artwork. Sorry, by Peter Dennis. Uh, just a quick shout out to him because he does a fantastic job with the artwork throughout the Bolt Action range, um, and I think even perhaps into some of the other ranges. But I'd have to double check that uh, for accuracy. But uh, in the theatre selectors, um, they they've tried to keep them fairly generic. Um, so, for example, you have the Blitzkrieg period, which is 39 through to 42, pretty much, um, you know, that kind of early war. It gives you an example of the fall of France, but uh, you could use this army list for uh, anything really in that time period, uh, you know, from uh, uh, the fall of France, Battle of Belgium, even up into Norway. Um, and and it, it's particularly good for that. I, I would imagine you could probably also use this um, in, in other uh, areas as well, 
um, but it is particularly good. So we've got Blitzkrieg, we've got some Dad's Army stuff, which I love. Um, it's kind of that perhaps what would happen if Operation Sea Lion, which is the German invasion of Britain, were to go ahead. I think that's great. Adds a, could could make some very good games. And I think when I get my Dad's Army figures painted up, that, that could be uh, being played out. Uh, we've got a Raiders section for those lovely Commando figures. Um, particularly the uh, the army deals that uh, Bol uh, Warlord Games have just brought out. So that's particularly good. Uh, we have a section on Africa, 1940 to 43. Um, some nice behind enemy lines, army list for your SAS and long range uh, desert group um, forces. Um, and that goes right through to Tunisia. Uh, and then we have the Far East, 41 through to 45. Um, we have the Fall of Singapore as one list to cover kind of the early war in the Pacific, uh, and then Burma 42 to 45 to cover the later part. So um, Mel, uh, Mel the Train Tutor, uh, this is the list you want for your chin dits. All right, to give you a quick shout out, uh, really enjoy watching uh, your stuff and uh, was very delighted the other day, um, particularly on my, my road to Oklahoma City stuff. Uh, Mel liked it and, and subscribed to the channel and, you know, was uh, highly complimentary and, and a, it's such an honour and I'd just like to say, you know, uh, for somebody who's watched your videos and very much your videos have inspired kind of my videos, um, you know, it was a real honour to get that comment and, and also the support and, and subscriptions from everybody else, really appreciate that. So uh, thank you, thank you. But anyway, carrying on, um, we've got Western Europe next, uh, 43 to 45, so that's kind of Italy uh, through... Um, uh, really, and, and you could use uh, some of these lists, there's the Normandy list in this as well, and really those could go through um, pretty much. Uh, we have got a specific list from Market Garden, um, obviously because it was heavy, um, heavy airborne, so that's important. Um, but also, uh, you know, there's also the 1945 into the Reich, so you get your, your late war um, sort of uh, fall of Germany uh, list. On the whole, an absolutely fantastic book. Um, I'm certainly going to be using it a lot for my BEF force. Um, if you're a British player, definitely worth picking up. Um, if you're just interested in what the other armies are, maybe you're a German player, uh, as in you play with the German force, and, and you want to see what the opposition looks like, maybe this is the book for you. Um, so very, very good. I highly recommend it does come with a figure. Um, I'm going to do a, a video on all the figures together, probably when I've cleaned them up and painted them, um, rather than doing them individually. So keep an eye out for that as well. Anyway, um, so that's uh, Armies of Great Britain. Um, I am, like I did last week, going to um, put in some, uh, uh, some inspirational DVDs, documentaries, films, all that good stuff. So we'll do that now. But just to say, uh, keep your eyes open next week. We're going to look at the Germans next week, uh, the army army book of uh, for Germany. Um, so if you're a German player and you, you want to find out a little bit more before you go out and buy it, keep your eyes open for next week. Um, okay, let's go to some videos. Okay then, guys. So uh, as I did um, last week with some DVDs that inspired me, I thought I'd pick out some uh, for this week and that would cover the kind of theatre selectors um, for the British. So let's fire through uh, real quick. So, first of all, early war. I know I used uh, Dunkirk in the Oklahoma City video. I'm trying not to repeat myself. So this week uh, I chose the Battle of Britain for my early war um, DVD. Very good. It's got some nice uh, scenes of the fall of France early on. And it really captures the kind of the feeling of the period, I hope. Uh, of course I wasn't there, but that's what, I, what I'm led to believe. Uh, if we want some home front, we've got to have some Dad's Army. Uh, it's a good laugh, and I think you could get some really good scenarios out of this. I certainly plan to in the future uh, with some terrain for Warmington on Sea. Um, and another DVD that I picked up from Marks and Spencers of all places. Uh, this one's called The Way We Were, uh, and it had it was a series. This one's the 30s and 40s, and has some great content uh, to help you get capture the feel. Well, without uh, Raiders, the British would have, uh, or the Germans would have had a quiet time. So let's put some Cockleshell Heroes on. Um, another great uh, film. It's a classic uh, and really captures the idea of, of the raiding forces. Next, moving on into Africa. 
another classic. I was Monty's double. Great film um, and uh, particularly good watch. And sticking in the desert, you can't have um, a desert force without thinking and considering the desert rats. Again, another classic. I, I seem to pick them. Um, but this really does give you some flavour of the fighting in North Africa uh, and some historical background as well. Maybe you might want to uh, make a force um, based on this film. Jumping slightly more into the Mediterranean than, the, uh, than Africa, They Who Dare. Uh, it's a film about an SBS squadron who uh, gets onto a Greek island and takes out some uh, Axis air bases. Uh, inspiring stuff for a small little force of commandos or uh, SAS or SBS, I think so. Um, it's another classic, check it out. Now, jumping over to the Pacific and Mel, if you haven't watched this, I highly recommend it. It's not Chindits, but it's pretty close. It ain't half hot mum. Uh, lovely comedy series about an artillery concert party, and uh, certainly will give you lots of laughs. Um, while you're, you're painting up your figures for the, uh, the Pacific Theatre. Check it out. I keep saying check it out. Probably should just say check them all out because they're all worth it. And this one is definitely worth it. Uh, Oscar winner, The Bridge on the River Kwai. Um, fantastic film. Um, Sir Alec Guinness. And uh, this is definitely one to sit down and take in because it's, uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. And, um, you know... With, with, with the great soundtrack of Colonel Bogey, um, you really can't go wrong. And finally, heading back over to uh, North, uh, Northwest, Af uh, Northwest Europe, should I say. Um, there are plenty of films out there. Um, the one I've decided to pick for the British for this week is A Bridge Too Far. Uh, again, it's uh, it, it covers the Americans as well and the Germans. Um, in Operation Market Garden, but uh, I think this does a particularly good job of following the British, both the Paris and 30 Corps. So if you're interested in, say, a, a late 1944 British Army, uh, check this one out, uh, and I'm sure you'll be inspired to buy some Paris along with any infantry you might buy. So, um, quite a collection. Uh, let's just spin that so you get a final look, maybe even zoom in if you're, if you're very technically minded. Um, but that's it. Um, so, uh, Armies of Great Britain, highly recommend it. Um, if you're a British player, go out and get it. You'll, you'll definitely uh, be pleased you did that. Um, and next week, Armies of Germany. So until then, uh, from me and my bow tie, uh, have a lovely week and uh, we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.